able to utilize data from a data source, within a web page, there are four elements that must work in concert with one another. You must be using a server-side scripting language, a properly formatted data source, the correct connection string, and an SQL query. One without the other yields nothing. So let's explore how all of these elements interact with one another. There are many places from which data can be retrieved. The most frequently used are database management systems, like Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, and less robust but very useful nonetheless, Microsoft Office Access. Any good hosting package will come with the ability to have several different databases. For example, my hosting package allows me to have several SQL Server, MySQL, and even Microsoft Office Access databases. Next, there are the applications and files that do not fit the definition of a database. However, data can be harvested from them just as easily as it can from any other data source. Files created from an application like Microsoft Office Excel or an XML file can provide data to a web page and are much more flexible and easier to set up than a database management system. In fact, any ODBC compliant data source is accessible. So at Total Web Info, I focus on the server-based databases you will more than likely encounter at a hosting provider, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Microsoft Office Access. I also throw in the mix a data source you will not find offered by a hosting provider but is overwhelmingly my favorite, Microsoft Office Excel, a truly powerful, wouldn't want to be without it, application. Microsoft SQL Server and MySQL typically reside on a database server somewhere, like at your host. And when a database resides on a remote server, it is known as a server-based database. Microsoft Office Access and Microsoft Office Excel typically reside as a file in the directory structure of a website, and therefore are known as file-based databases. Microsoft Office Access is sometimes offered by hosts as a server-based database as well. So as you can see, it's all about where the data file you are connecting to is located, on a remote server or in the file structure of your website. The distinction between server-based and file-based is important because as you will see, it will have a bearing on the method that will have to be used to connect to the data source. So which data source should you use? In a nutshell, of the group listed here, Microsoft SQL Server is the most robust database management system. SQL Server can efficiently manage and serve large amounts of data, accommodate high traffic volume, and has heightened security measures. MySQL shares many of the characteristics of SQL Server, but is less robust. It is nonetheless a very popular and widely used open source database management system. If you are a financial institution or large corporation, the use of these types of database management systems is a must. However, you can easily manage a several thousand product e-commerce website with either Microsoft Office Access or better yet, Microsoft Office Excel. Although not as robust in any category, either can efficiently accommodate the needs of a sizable website. If you are dealing with any volume of data, you will more than likely be using some sort of data manipulation application to manage your data in the background, probably Microsoft Office Excel. Of course, you can upload the data to an SQL or MySQL database, but why bother if it's not necessary? Why not just go to the file where the data already exists? At Total Web Info, that is one of the many things I show you how to do. If you use the e-commerce model I lay out at Total Web Info, you will not have to transmit sensitive data over your network or store sensitive data. This eliminates the need of a database management system. Of course, if you want the extra practice at moving data around, knock yourself out and upload your data to your database of choice. So how does a server-side scripting language communicate with a data source? Programs have been created called Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs. Your web page and the scripting language you are using doesn't care what data source you use as long as there is an API for that scripting language that has been designed to connect 
to whatever data source you are attempting to connect to. Fortunately, there are APIs to connect just about any scripting language to just about any data source. However, some scripting language API data source combinations get along better than others, and it is the Microsoft data sources that work best with the Microsoft scripting languages, ASP and ASP.NET, and the open source data source, MySQL, that works best with the open source scripting language, PHP. A MySQL database is almost always used with the PHP scripting language. Can you connect to a MySQL database with ASP? Absolutely, but that would not normally be done. Nonetheless, there is a video at Total Web Info that shows you how to do it. So let's talk about the APIs that are at our disposal for these scripting languages and data sources. There is the ODBC driver, which is the oldest of the bunch. It comes in two varieties, DSN and DSN-less. You can only use a system DSN connection if you have access to the operating system of the server. If you are using shared hosting, the $4 to $7 per month one, the use of a system DSN connection is not an option. You will have to use ODBC DSN-less connections if you want to use the ODBC driver. Microsoft Front Pages data management tool automatically produces ODBC DSN list connections. The middle aged API is the OLEDB provider and is said to be better than the ODBC driver. ASP with extensions and standard ASP can both utilize either the ODBC drivers or OLEDB providers. I have used both and have not experienced any visible differences. PHP and MySQL typically use the OLEDB provider or MySQL underscore connect to establish a connection. The youngest of the bunch are the ADO.NET providers specifically designed for use with the ASP.NET scripting language. ASP.NET can also utilize the ODBC driver or OLEDB provider. Wow, a lot to wrap your brain around, huh? So why is all of this important? Well, it's these APIs that will make up the first half of the line of code called a connection string that will be used to make the connection to the data source. Remember the Dinky Dog example website and the body page that returns the various Dinky Dog products? Well, let's take a look at the code behind this page. In this case, it is VBScript, or ASP, that harvests the data from the data source and displays it in the body page of the Dinky Dog Accessories website. Let's look at the all-important connection string. As you can see here, there is a variable named connection string that is equal to some provider. In this case, I am using the OL EDB provider, and more specifically the Microsoft JET OLEDB 4.0 provider, and I'm connecting to a Microsoft Office Excel file. I could have used the ODBC driver, and the connection string would have taken on this form. At Total Web Info, I provide you with a comprehensive list of the various APIs for the data sources and scripting languages I cover in the tutorials, and I show you where to find the rare ones should you need them.